啦啦。Hello, peeps, and welcome to Prison Architect. I'm Blala, and lots has happened in the Corp Jail since the last episode. I decided because the maximum security side is going to be a mirror image, pretty much, of the side we've already built together. I thought I would skip forwards and just build it. Yes, indeed, and here it is: our maximum security section, completely full. And we now get an awful lot of incidences, as you can imagine. There's always blood everywhere. Look at all this blood. Look at all this blood. Look, there's a whole trail of blood there. And making money has become uh, quite tricky uh, because they're always duffing each other up. But as you can see, look, there's loads of new prison cells. Um, our super max section, our solitary section, is getting quite full. It is getting quite full. And actually, if we go into intelligence, is it intelligence? Informants? Oh, look, we have three legendaries. Look at this. Three legendaries. It's crazy, isn't it? Um, look, we have, look, Charlie. There, should we check her out? So she's in for only 13 years. So she's, she's not doing uh, too bad. We've got Ollie over here. Um, another one, look, she's in for 33 years. Not too bad, but of course, over here, look, we still have Fairben, and uh, she's in for 141 years. <laughs> so I think she's here for the duration, and oh, look, there she is, kicking off once again. <laughs> Nothing changes, does it? Get her! Get her, lads! There we go. <laughs> nightmare. Absolute nightmare. And we need to do something about this, clearly. Um, and... I always said I wanted to build a section at the back of the prison. Well, I have planned it out. Look at the size of this. <laughs> this is the last part of the prison that um, uh, we will be building uh, before I will consider Le Corp Gel complete. And um, I could go over it um, and tell you what all these bits are, but um, I'm not sure I can be bothered. Maybe we could just learn as we go along. <laughs> you know, it might be nice. but. I suppose in essence we have an overflow area we have death row we've got um, a rehab center a, a place as well for all of our snitches and we've got um, a supermax section um, and a shared sort of community area I've already built the walls because again it's really expensive and um, time oops what happened there time consuming it's probably the autosave um, and boring you know, I mean, it's expensive, boring and time consuming. So I've built them in. I mean, I haven't kitted them all out yet um, because we haven't built anything inside the walls. And eventually we'll need to upgrade um, this outer wall, you know, to that big boy that goes all the way around the prison. Yes, yes. And eventually we'll fill all this up with sand. I'll we'll put snipper riffle towers everywhere. That's going to be so exciting. We've got look, this fence over here. So there's absolutely no contraband being thrown over walls now. No, no, there isn't. Oh, look, see, look, they're going for dinner. Oh, dear, what are these plans I've got here? Look, I've left some, uh, should we get rid of those? I've got some plans here. Oh, look at them. Look at how many maximum security ladies we have now. Isn't it crazy? Isn't it crazy? Look at them, just wandering through all, all knackered. All, all, all of the nakeds. There we go, yeah. And this does pretty much operate exactly the same over here as this side I've set it up exactly um, the same pretty much um, so I think the rooms are smaller though uh, but we've already discussed that I mean you, you did see me build quite a lot of them so the rooms are smaller so we can ram them in a little bit more we've hit our 500 prisoner mark got that achieve oh yes we did and even though we've got an overflow section so you know you get that event where um, they say a prison's had to shut down a section for whatever reason and they want you to take all the extra prisoners well this is what we'll build here <coughs> is something that will usually be closed down but will open up in case of overflow however I'm also going to be using it at the end of this series to make it to a thousand so we're going to fill it up regardless absolutely regardless we want to get to a thousand and that's why I've tried to ram so many more 
um, cells into here because it's it's an achieve it's an achieve and I do like to get them uh, and then when this is built and it's all looking sexy and lovely I'm going to put it onto the workshop so you lucky peeps can play on my prison and tell me all the things that are wrong with it <laughs> right should we get started then what should what shall we start with so we've got well I think we've agreed haven't we that supermax is getting a little out of control but at the same time what about our poor our poor guys over here you know these guys aren't even that bad they're just snitches right and they're just stuck in their rooms all the time and they're not even bad people some of them are just really bad addicts you know look at the sick all over her room she's clearly a bad addict what's going on with you ex-law enforcement uh, but yeah health's really bad you know and i like to mix rehab um a drug rehab center um with my my snitches so to be honest the snitches are still going to be locked into in their room in the new facility however their rooms will be uh better equipped for them being locked in there like i think um they'll be having their own telephones and stuff like that their own exercise equipment you know so they will be able to let's have a look here you see um exercise is uh they don't have that so we'll put an exercise machine in there i don't think i'll be able to give them literacy um but they will be able to have contact with their family, although that person doesn't seem to be that bothered. They're probably still going to... Oh, that's, she's got a family problem. They're probably still going to visitation, right? Oh, the visitation rooms aren't there because... Oh, look. Remove all visitation rooms. 34 hours left on that. Well, okay. Right. Anyway. So, I think what we might do is concentrate on our lovely snitches and drug rehab center um yes and then this shared area it's similar to this shared area but it has a lot less in it because it'll be used by the supermax as well and this is all about behavioral therapy we'll have a hospital here for people with drug problems and they'll have um, classrooms to help improve behavioral problems they're going to have a whole bunch of psych psychiatrists <laughs> it's going to be exciting it's going to be exciting so we might as well just get cracking i've got a little bit saved up uh in the old doubloons department to get us started um and you've seen me build these sorts of blocks a million times over nothing changes hey nothing changes so we want foundations oh look it's been a little while right <laughs> foundations Beautiful foundations. We're going to stick this room on the back. Boom. Um, and take that there. That there. Ah, so this is going to be our first. Our first little area. Uh, what do I normally stick on here? Oh dear. Is it just normally jail doors? I don't know. I can't remember. Let's go over here. No, they look like solitary doors, don't they? Three. Are solitary doors? Yeah, look, solitary doors. So, just in case of lockdown, right? Diseases tends to be what I, I use them for. But also, if you lose control of a situation, you know, it can happen. There we go. There we go. And then we're going to need some staff doors on these. So this is going to be the first building of our drug rehab centre. I think, um, how did I get in there? Because I've, I've been doing all this here, right? If we go into logistics, no, deployment. Ah. So you can see here this one, staff only entrance. But this one will be for prisoners. They'll be able to come in through this door. I mean, it's locked at the moment. They'll be able to come in here to access this whole area. However, staff who will be building this will just wander in. Just want to. Oh, look at it. That's it. See, they just walk straight in. And this will be death row here. This will be death row. And, um, and then, oh look, so they come down here. So there's another checkpoint, it'll be eventually. God, it's quite a long old way, isn't it? So this is supposed to be, I think we'll put this in actually. This is going to be a fence like this. Um, and I also think uh, we should have a jail door. No, just a small one. Oh, look, we've got six of them available. So stick that in there. Um, this will be the yard and canteen um there'll be a shared kitchen this is going to be a massive massive kitchen that will 
um, cater both these canteens um, for our Supermax as well. Um, and it just means that we can put more um, of these ladies into the Supermax. Um, and we're going to use, I think we might be using some timers as well, just because I want to use as many of the objects as possible, timers, so that they have certain times of the day when they come in here, because clearly we don't want max security mixing with, with this lot. I'm just asking for trouble, just asking for trouble. But they also have some of their own facilities, so they'll do their own um, laundry because there's no contraband issues with laundry. They get their own uh, common room because, again, there's no contraband uh, issues uh, with those. They get their own parole, no contraband issues with those, and they get their own solitary because they're naughty, <laughs> in a nutshell. And we'll be upping lots of people um, to Supermax, won't we? Look. See, look, she's deadly. So she just goes around killing everybody. Volatile tends to be a bit of an issue as well, so I'm, I'm upping a lot of the volatiles to, to Supermax as well. Um, but we'll have a good look through at what personalities we're going to favour for the old Supermax. Indeed we will. Yes. Because they're a complete nightmare. Are you building this? Jeez. Can we get this built? <laughs> How many of you do I have? How many do we have on stuff? Actually, let's go this way. 60. 60 of them. Well, they're not working fast enough. What is the time? Oh, everybody's asleep. Should we do a shakedown? Oh my god, look at all the stuff they've got. It's, it's terrible. It's truly terrible. What's going on here? Oh, look, are we exporting? Exporting wood. Oh yes, the wood situation. I ended up having um, little forestry bits all over the place. Well, now what we've done is we've built a forestry area behind the workshop and the only way to access it is through these staff security rooms um, so only staff can access these forestry areas uh, which is nice and it just means now that we get so much wood can you see <laughs> so much wood oh yes and I've added on look uh, a room here to this workshop so they've got more tables for storing look and same here more tables for storing all the goods uh, because I found that we were having a real problem with um, sort of all the crap that comes in here and they had nowhere to put it. Um, it was a real problem. Uh, I also built a load more um, parole because we had so many people um, due for parole, something like 70 odd. So what I've done is I've built this massive parole centre here. Do you remember this was um, an area full of radios? <laughs> well, I had to get rid of the radios because they... They, they were no good. I've kept, I've still kept a lot of radios. How many radios have I kept? I've kept a lot. I know that. Can you see them? Yeah, look, 102 radios. So I've still got a lot of radios, but they've actually been packed away somewhere. And in its place, we've put a massive parole center for the maximum security people. Um, yes, we have. What a mess. This has not gone terribly well, has it? Get this cleaned up. Get this cleaned up. Mm. We have to keep an eye, really on the shakedown because what tends to happen is we find tunnels and things oh dear what's happened here she's all hurt should we get a doctor where's where's our nearest hello hello doctor come come down here oh my god she's all injured and whatnot and are there any doctors what i've noticed is that you can't really assign your doctors to particular wards so i get staff needing help over here look unconscious this chance is unconscious there's no doctor to deal with it. So we're going to send a couple of doctors over there. It's really, really annoying. And it's, there's no reason for them to go back over there. They've got a staff room right here and everything. Yet for some reason, all the doctors end up being over here. And then we're going to have another hospital over here. And I bet they come over here. <laughs> Just have like billions of doctors hanging out in this one. Ugh. Get over here and help. Who is this? Audrey was that? Audrey, oh, she's in for torture. Oh my god! <laughs> Blimey, she means business. Go on, go in. There you go. Can you help her? Yay! All better now. We could probably do with getting a janitor in there and cleaning up the mess, right? Absolute nightmare. And what we're doing is we are filling to the max every day. So we are bringing in new prisoners every day. 
Um, so I also have to go through um, the intelligence, you know, and just check for snitches and whatnot every damn day. This is not going fast enough. That's why I've decided. Let's speed this up. Let's get this done. The problem is, is when you speed up, if you're going to get an incidence, this speed is what tends to trigger it more frequently than if you just go at normal pace. You'll have a lot more incidences in fast forward than you will just at normal speed, for sure. Uh, but they're all asleep. I mean, how much damage can they cause, really? <laughs> she says. Get this belt! Well, it is the following morning and they're still working on it. Jeez, it's taking ages and it looks a little messed up as well, so we're going to have to fix it. But we have a load more prisoners coming in. Yes, we do. Look, we've got some unknown reps. I saw a law enforcement officer there. Look. Is it you? Law enforcement, yes. So, well, that one's easy. So, straight into protective custody. Permanent lockdown. That one was easy. Let's look in intelligence, then. Uh, extremely strong, tough. Lots of question marks kicking about. Yes, lots of question marks. Volatile. See, really, should go straight into supermax. What we'll do is we shall call upon... our lady to come and tell us what all these question marks are see if we can't get more of them revealed before they are released into the greater population oh my god look there's super max ladies in here look wow why are they in there oh because they're not on any punishment oh permanent solitary permanent solitary there we go they must have been upped through policy to supermax because they killed somebody or something and i didn't notice so there we go there we go look it's so busy here it gets so busy here in the mornings so much going on shouldn't you be off building eh we've got that massive building to get done and you're just doing nothing all of the time all of the time Oh, oh! All these that they need to scan. This works quite well. A lot of our dogs in here. I think if I was going to d do this again, I think something that I would probably do differently is make it so that there, some of these entrances are actually also inside kennels, so that there's always dogs present because it, because you can't ask guards to relieve other guards. They just sort of leave their post unattended. Um, it's a bit of a nightmare, right? I mean, it's really annoying, in fact. Um, I mean, they wouldn't do that in real life. You'd have to go and relieve the guards. They wouldn't just bugger off. Um, but that's fine. You know, I mean, we'll, we'll put up with it. We'll put up with it. Have you done this yet? No. Oh, my God. This is taking far too long. It's probably because it's just so far away. And it's morning. And as I say, in the morning... It's very busy down here. Has our lady got to intelligence uh, yet? Informants? Uh, oh, she has. Look, they're all okay. Look at this instigator. Probably end up being super max one day, won't they? But all of our ladies that have come in today seem to be completely fine. So we shall deactivate her. Oh, look, she came to the new office down here. She is now going to leave. Oh, no. Danny Steele is due to leave. La Corp jail soon. What are we going to do? Let's um, can we search her as well? Um, it's fine because I've been looking for new informants. Um, as you can see, look, we've got this this lady who's also 100%, and we've got Abigail. She's also 100%. So we're all right. We're all right. We'll be okay without Danny, but we'll miss her. She's been helping us for a very long time. Identify all of our snitches and whatnot who very soon we shall be pulling out of these rooms and then permanently locking up in different rooms. <laughs> um, and we shall return this as a mixed facility for our um, medium and low security prisoners as luxury cells for the ones that have been well behaved. Not that that system seems to be working terribly well, um, <laughs> but, but there we are. Are we? Can we get this built? Yes? No? Maybe? Can we get it built? 
pronto i mean look i've put everything on high priority and i'm still not seeing it getting done and look at the mess they have made look at this look at this what a mess what i'm sure i didn't ask for this should we demolish those walls and those walls because it's just stupid it is stupid don't care what anyone says <laughs> it's utterly stupid <laughs> Thank you for watching, I hope you've enjoyed the episode, if you did, please hit that like button. As long as you are here, why not check out one of my delectable videos available? Feel free to come stalk me on social media and be sure to share this video with friends so even more may watch my shizwa. See you next time peeps!